Romanian swimmer David Popovici is setting new highs ever since he splashed into the Olympic sport in 2021. A year after his debut, he was crowned Swimmer of the Year. And get this, he's only 18 years old. In this video, we'll be talking about the young Romanian's ascent to the top. We'll also be listing down a couple of things you need to know about the swimmer. First up, a look at his year. In every 100-meter freestyle, Popovici has clocked an average of 45 to 48 seconds while averaging around 1 minute and 45 seconds in the 200-meter ones. These may sound like easy numbers, but finishing first place where a few milliseconds can affect the whole race is no simple task. This was seen in the World Championships in Budapest, where David beat Maxime Grousset by a 47.58 to 47.64 decision. We just know the French swimmer wished his fingers were half an inch longer so that he would have landed first place. At the same event, he won the first ever international medal after throwing down a minute and 43.21 seconds in the 200 freestyle. But Popovici is a swimmer who is in a completely different world. In the European Championship, the Romanian broke unbelievable records by clocking in at 1 minute and 42.97 seconds in the 200 meter freestyle. In case you didn't know, this is considered to be in the top three fastest finishes in history, and the guy was just 17 at the time. Top threes aside, Popovici broke the world record for the fastest 100 meter freestyle with a time of 46.86 seconds, taking down Cesar Cielo's personal best. The way this kid swims makes you think he's got gills hidden somewhere in his body because he's raising the bar in aquatic sports by a mile. Up next, how is he different from the rest? Statistically speaking, Popovici steers clear to first place from 22-year-old Hungarian swimmer Christoph Milak. David having 55 points this year was way ahead of the runner-up's 36 points and third place Leo Marchand's 28 points. Many people think that the Romanian is the next Ian Thorpe or Michael Phelps, but even those greats didn't reach the achievements David has at his age. Phelps was 19 when he won six gold medals at the 2004 Athens Olympics. Popovici, on the other hand, has 11 gold medals at the age of 18. But comparing a legend like the flying fish to the boy who might be king is pointless. For starters, the former swimmer's body is designed specifically for the aquatic sport. Did you know his size 14 feet can bend 15 degrees farther at the ankle than most other swimmers, turning his feet into virtual flippers? We wish we were making this up, but it's true. This flexibility also extends to his knees and elbows, possibly allowing him to get more out of each stroke. The 18-year-old's feet can bend normally, and this isn't a freak of nature. No offense to the great Michael Phelps, though. As for other swimmers who aren't retired, David seems to be clearing them as if they're amateurs. Let's talk about what makes Popovici so great. What is it about the young athlete that gives him the ability to break records once held by legends like Cielo and Caleb Dressel? Does David have some sort of secret superpower that gives him the upper hand to dominate the junior championships? We almost have all the answers to that. When it comes to his physique, the Romanian is a bit too skinny for someone who's six foot two. His coach said that this gives him the advantage to generate as much speed as he can with the appropriate strength. Performance-wise, he has amazing front-end speed, but it's Popovici's back half that distinguishes him from the rest. In Rome, his operating lap of 22.74 was followed by an amazing effort of 24.12 into the wall. Notice that 24 low closing speed? Yeah, that's sort of the swimmer's signature move now, and also a warning to his opponents. Coach Adrian Radulescu also talked about the time when he was 10 years old and always finished his races second last in a kid's 25-meter tournament. When it was time for the finals, David raced to the first position because the other swimmers would be tired by then. This man really has the physical and mental skills balanced out, huh? Coming up with his road to the top. Fans are calling him the magician and chlorine daddy. Take a wild guess which nickname Gen Zers came up with. But Popovici didn't wait till he started competing professionally in the junior championships to set new highs. His first record-breaking achievement was when he was 10 years old in a 50-meter backstroke. Fun fact, this record was held by world bronze medalist Dragos Komen back in 2003. When he was 14, he became the fastest under-15 swimmer in history to swim 100 meters in just 49.82 seconds. Okay, what were his parents feeding him? David qualified for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics after his exceptional performance at the 2020 European Aquatics Championships in Budapest, where he became the youngest Romanian to ever compete. Here, he broke the Romanian national record three times, but ended up finishing in sixth position in the finals. Chlorine Daddy made his way to several championships in 2021, where he broke records and won a series of medals. He then won gold medals in the men's 100-meter freestyle and the men's 200-meter freestyle at the 2022 World Championships. This made him the first swimmer in 49 years to win gold in both sprint events at the same edition of the World Championships. This looks like the tip of the iceberg because clearly the Romanian swimmer is not done redefining the aquatic sport. We're asking this again, what are they feeding him? Last but not least, what does the future of his career look like? The Romanian's body won't always be tall and lanky, which is one of the things that grants him his impeccable speed. He's still 18 years old and will go through changes as he swims further into his professional career. We won't give details because we're pretty sure all of you are aware
aware of how puberty works. As his coach said, it'll be a task for David to adapt to these changes since he's at his prime right now. But after all that he's achieved, there's no doubt that he won't be complaining if he retires in his late 20s. The boy who might be king might as well become king after all. The new Phelps, perhaps? Who knows? Maybe Popovich will make a name of his own in this wonderful watery sport as he splashes into newer extremes. Now that that's out of the way, why don't we give you a few facts about the athlete because we're positive that he'll be in many headlines to come. Moving on to five facts about David Popovich that you should know. First up at number five, what are his interests outside of swimming? Like every celebrity and athlete, the magician is into things that don't involve him being underwater for several hours a day. Since he's still a student, the 18-year-old wants to pursue a major in psychology because in his words, he likes the human mind and wants to know what he can achieve when he has full control over it. David also believes that having knowledge of the mind will help him improve his performance in the water. Being a world-famous Olympic gold medalist would obviously bring you scholarships from prestigious colleges, especially in America. But Popovici wishes to stay in Romania because his chemistry with his coach is just too valuable to throw away. Looks like the swimmer is majoring in chemistry too. To all the psych majors out there watching this video instead of finishing those assignments, would you want to recommend David another way to control the mind? Yoga perhaps? Up next at number four, what's the secret to his success? After winning the men's 200 meter freestyle world title at the 2022 FINA World Championships in Budapest, reporters asked the Romanian what his secret was to being this good at tournaments. His simple and humble response was that he works tremendously hard. Popovici said that if you combine hard work with passion, the stars will eventually align for you. He also wanted to clarify that he doesn't think that he's better or more talented than the other swimmers. It's just that he swims really fast. No, we still think they're feeding him something that shouldn't be known to the public. Sorry, but hard work and passion don't let you break records when you're 10 years old. Now for who he idolizes at number three. It's no surprise that a young fan of the Olympic sport would be impressed by legends like Ian Thorpe and Michael Phelps. He's honored to be compared with those two at such a young age and hopes to follow in their footsteps. Well, he ticks all the boxes to exceed the two greats, so his career can only go up from here. Let's talk about his physique again at number two. No, not in a weird way. What we mean is how his tall and lanky body makes him built to swim fast. Two-time Australian Olympian Brett Hawk said how David could easily pass as a basketball player with his huge hands and feet. Brett then compared the magician to Anthony Irvin with the way he moved in the water. Hawk had nothing but compliments to give to the young athlete, calling him a one in a million because you just can't replicate what he does. If you thought the comparisons ended with Irvin, the Australian Olympian also said that David is like Steph Curry shooting a three-pointer. It's only a matter of time till people start calling him the Kylian Mbappe of swimming, wrapping things up with the reason he started swimming at number one. Parents usually throw their kids in the pool to tire them out and have a healthy pastime. This was one of the reasons our young swimmer grew fond of the water, but you'd be surprised at his doctor's prescription. Turns out, the then four-year-old started swimming to correct his early stage scoliosis. If you don't know what that is, it's this condition where the spine twists and curves in a very uncomfortable way. Who knew that the doctor's orders would end up rewarding Chlorine Daddy with 11 gold medals? He was a natural in the water and also prioritized having fun instead of being serious about it. Talk about passion, huh? And that's all for this video. Do you think David Popovici is the next Michael Phelps? Shower us with your thoughts in the comments below. Slip and slide your way to the like and subscribe buttons to see more of our content. Okay, we'll stop with the water puns now. We'll see you in the next one.